Hi everyone, and welcome back to the second half for today. We are gonna go with We're gonna go with Eddie. Let's go, let's get it. Everyone picks on Eddie, but I think he had a really interesting story. They just kind of nixed it. You know, they he had this whole thing where he was against the Mishima Zaibatsu for a little bit. Oops. And then, uh... And... Sorry, I spaced out because I was trying to remember combos. So he had this whole thing where he was against the Zaibatsu and then he, like, starts to work for them because of his, I think it's his mentor, and it ends up being like Christie's grandfather. But then it's never explored what happens after that, and it's such a waste for like such an interesting character arc. It, you know, he could be like, it's same thing with Bruce. I really wish they ended up pursuing Bruce's story more, but, you know, he ended up just being a novelty character coming back for the Tech and Tag games and all that, and it's like, come on, man. He deserves more than that. Round one, fight. Comment down below if you guys think that those two should have some big role in the next game. Even if they had... Uh, Bruce do G Corp for Kazuya are actually their rivals. So where have Eddie work with Kazuya, right? Hear me out. Because at the time, Jim, Jin, yeah, Jim, Jin is running a lot of the stuff because of the events of Tekken 6, 5, 6, and 7. So you could have Eddie working with Kazuya and Bruce working with Jin. And that would make it interesting because they're considered rivals. I think at one time, Bruce considered Kazuya a rival. It was supposed to be like canon for one of the... He like lost to him or something at one time and then they fought again and then Bruce lost, I think. It's something along those lines. There's a lot of canon with these games. And that's another thing I enjoy. Is like, you know, you get a new fighting game. You're not expecting the most story, like, story cohesion. You're not expecting anything cohesive out of it. It's just kind of like... It's there. They're fighting. But there's actually a really good story that stayed cohesive over the course of what 30 years now just about we're almost hitting 30 years by the way we are making headway with this I mean which I expected I totally expected Eddie to be a cheese character because in 3 he was but I mean a lot of people were I think I think the common misconception with 3 is that they're like, oh, well, this character's broken. It's like, well, they all could be, you know. You could spam moves. There's, They still have the heavy hitting moves, like where the mechanics of 2 play into effect. Where they're just heavy, hard hits and, you know, whereas 2 and 1 were more of like a... You kind of had a plan for what the other person was doing, or just hit them with the barrage. There wasn't a lot of juggling. With this, there's a lot more juggling. And so the hard-hitting moves just hit a lot harder because of that. So you could, you know... Also, Anna is totally eating his ass right there. Oh, nope, the wrong one. I wanted that one. Here we go. <laughs> I 
and I also like uh, the tiger character where he's like in the disco outfit that's freaking sick too I used to whenever I used Eddie as a matter of fact I would always use tiger because I always enjoyed that outfit such headway it's because his attacks like usually they'll start to block you if you're doing a lot of high attacks if you're doing a lot of low attacks they'll start to the the AI for you know what generation this is is actually pretty smart it'll sit there and block you out if you're doing a lot of high attacks Eddie is such a mixed bag that you know, you can't really... Ooh! Sorry. You can't really... Uh, throw a handle into what he is and isn't going to do. Oh! Did you see that? I totally just rolled through him right there. Well, anyway. He anyway time for the big boy match ogre let's go yeah get wrecked son get wrecked can't stop won't stop eh, 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 eh. oof guess what it's over. Alright, y'all know what time it is. Time to see the mouse pop up and see the save state. That's just what it is. It's just that time. I do that. Hold on. I'll wait till after the little video. See? It says seek the truth and they never fucking pursue it. Yeah, they're hinting that Kazuya's alive, sure. But they don't do anything with it. They're just like, oh, he becomes a bodyguard for Jin at some point in time. It's like, come come the hell on, man. Oh, we got theater mode flashing. That's neat. We got all the main characters done. This is this is what we have left. And I think it's this one right here. We have to do tech and force for. And I'm not excited for it. Right? I think... I think you do Tekken Force for Gone. Or is it... No. It's the Volleyball. Do I have that? Or do I have to do Force first? Yep, Tekken Ball. There it is. <laughs> I forgot about that. Alright, you guys. If you enjoy this video and want to see more videos like that, go ahead and throw a subscribe down. Like the video. You know, all that fun stuff. I hope you enjoy this. And let's keep this ball rolling. Let's go 1K, gang.